Good morning. It is Friday morning and today we're going sourcing. So I am going to attempt to take you along with me. I am a little bit shy about filming in stores and I'm going to film all of this probably on my phone. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm excited. We're going to go to a bigger town that's a little bit of a drive from us that has a lot more sourcing spots and a lot of them I haven't been to before. So really excited to see how that goes. There's a few like consignment stores that I've never been to and then some buy sell trade stores that I've popped into once or twice. So we'll see what we find. So before we go, I'm just gonna finish up some cross listing. Last night after baby went to bed, I did some photographing and measuring and made some drafts. So now I am just cross listing. Hey, hey baby, here, come sit with me. We're having some emotional days lately. So you may hear baby girl in the background. Such is <clears throat> reselling in mom life. And sorry for my hoarse voice. I've had some stuff going on, but we're getting better. These are size 29, I think. All right. All right, so it is just about nap time, which is the perfect time to leave. Hopefully, baby will sleep in the car and um, be well rested when we arrive because I'd like to hit a lot of stores. Um, yeah, I've been hoping, or I've been trying to list three to five items a day, and I kind of went on a sourcing break for a couple of weeks because I had spent a ton on sourcing, and um, so I kind of ran out of stuff. I did a lot of online sourcing recently, so that's starting to come in, like everything I listed yesterday and today, um, I, I got four listings up yesterday and four today, and then on the days that I don't have anything, I've just been relisting, but I'd like to get some more stuff, and especially as I think about going on maternity leave in a few weeks, um, I'd like to kind of stock up on inventory. I haven't completely figured out, like, what I'm going to do about maternity leave, because I really want to take time off and especially not do anything that requires um, any physical <laughs> work. So, um, so yeah, we'll see about that. But mostly today, I'm gonna try to be pretty picky about what I pick up just so I don't overspend. Um, but I'm pretty excited to see what these consignment stores have. All right, here we are. This is a fairly new location and um, I haven't been here before, so excited to check this out. Baby did get a nap. I got to drive through some beautiful fall colors and just sit back and listen to a podcast, so it's been a good morning so far. Um, off to a little bit later start than I had originally hoped, but I, yeah, we'll see. I hope this goes well and I'll hopefully film a little bit in there and then show you if I find anything. Alright, not much luck in there. There were just a lot of like mall brands and Shein and some free people that was too expensive. Um, I didn't film a lot either. The owner was right at the counter and you could kind of see the whole store from the counter. So, um, I don't know. I don't like confrontation, so I avoid it. Um, yeah, I didn't get much. I only picked up two items to do a little bit of research on. One of them was like a Lafayette 148 leather-ish jacket. Um, and it still had the Nordstrom tag on it for $1,300. So I was like, yeah, that could be good. Um, but comps were really bad. And um, then I picked up a Zara trench coat, which I may most likely just keep for myself. But um, if it looks really good, I might sell it as well. So on to the next. I think we're going to go to Nordstrom Rack really quick. Um, to be honest, mostly because I know they have a bathroom and I am eight months pregnant. Yeah. So convenient or not, that is a factor of every sourcing trip. 
So change of plans, we stopped into style encore instead, and here I am going through the coats. I was looking at that gentle herd, and then here I'm looking at another one, seeing if they're new with tags, because I have sold that coat before, new with tags, and then, as you'll see, I do find it later um, with the tags still on. All right, this is what I took to the dressing room. This was a nothing. This one was a Revolve brand. Again, turned out to be nothing. Amazon brand. Uh, comps weren't good on this one for what they had a price at. And then I did pick up these two coats. All right, we ended up skipping Nordstrom Rack and going to Chick-fil-A for bathrooms and lunch. And so we, uh, we have full bellies and we're gonna go find those consignment stores. All right, it is a beautiful day out, and we just went to one consignment store. Um, I may have found a pair of jeans I'm going to go back for, and now we're just walking over to another one. We've been here about three hours now, which means it's almost nap time again. So, time is limited, but we're having fun. Right, back in the car that second consignment store was really cool um, but it was the kind of place where it would take a really long time to do it justice it was like organized by color and there was a lot of vintage in there um, I did see some really nice things but very expensive they were pricing like used anthropology dresses $60 and up so probably not a great sourcing spot but it was cool to stop by and <laughs> nice that it was within walking distance of this other one um, so our very last stop is going to be a Goodwill. There's one that I haven't been to that's really close to here and we're in a really nice part of town. So fingers crossed that we find something and then we will make our journey home. <laughs> you people that find shoes at Goodwill, how, how do you do it? Because like, there's just nothing. All right, so here's a sneak peek of the spoils. Nothing crazy, but I'm really glad we stopped in at Goodwill. This is one that I think I'll come back to. It's definitely nicer than the ones in my town. Um, I didn't find, like I said, anything super, super amazing, but um, I did find an anthropology dress for six bucks that I can sell for between 80 and 100. So that's a win for me. Uh, a couple of dresses that I might keep for myself uh, if they're not worth much. Uh, I feel like I've done that a lot more today than I usually do when I'm sourcing, but I guess there's just some things that I'm looking for myself also. Um, so yeah, overall, not a bad sourcing trip. Um, nothing that like blew my mind, but yeah, it's been a fun day to stop at a few different places and stock up on some inventory to <laughs> keep those listings consistent. We're back, we're home, but what sounds good right now is a hot drink, so I'm going to make a chai latte, and then I'm gonna kinda get together everything that I got and hopefully do a haul for you here soon. All right, let's do a quick haul. I've got my chai and I've got all my stuff here, so I'll just show you what I picked up really quickly. All right, so these are the jeans that I did end up going back for at the consignment store. They are Veronica Beard and Veronica Beard's jeans, I've purchased two pairs so far, and they've just sat and been horrible for me. But this one looks like one of her more popular styles. I kind of could tell just by the button fly, how high-waisted it was. Um, and it's got this, like, flare, um, wide leg going on. So, I felt like these were a pretty good style. Um, I looked them up, and they... They should sell between like 120 and 150 I'm hoping. Um, I paid about $50 for them. They were on sale. Um, they had them marked at like 75 originally um, and marked down. So I paid about 50 and I'm hoping to get at least 120 for them. They're in really good condition, size 29. So that's cool. Um, and then this was my one purchase at Uptown Cheapskate. This is a Zara trench coat, very basic, very classic. Um, it does have kind of this stripe down the sleeve um, as a little detail, but um, this one, again, might keep for myself. We'll see. I paid $16 for it, so if it looks like it could do well on Poshmark, 
I will list it. And then after Uptown Cheapskate, I went over to Style Encore, checked out the dresses. They had quite a few Revolve pieces, as I showed in the dressing room. Um, I ended up picking up this one, Lovers and Friends gown. Full length gown. It has some shape to the skirt, which is cool. And like this one shoulder spaghetti strap. So looks like this will sell for around $100 or so. And I think, let's see, yeah, I paid 16 for it. And then I bought three coats, also at that style encore. Um, this one is for me, I think. It's a Zara, like, wool pea coat. And I think it's like 25% wool. Um, but I've been looking for one of these. I wasn't sure if I wanted, like, a camel color or a gray or a black. But I think this, like, charcoal color will be what I reach for mostly. It looks like it's new without tags. So let me check out what it's selling for on Poshmark, but uh, in all likelihood I'll keep it for myself and I paid only $18 for it, which is great for a nice, thick, good quality wool coat. Um, next up, this one I will be selling. This is a stadium cloth coat by J. Crew. So Ashley at Recloth Collection has talked about um, this being a style to look out for. The Stadium Cloth by J. Crew does really well. This, I believe, is called the Lodge Coat, and it's in this like lilac lavender color. Hoping this will sell for between like 120 and 170, and I paid 50. And last thing I grabbed is this Gentle Herd coat. It's new with tags. Um, I've seen a lot of these at Style Encores around me. I think um, I talked to the employee at the store today and she said that somebody had a pallet of them and they kind of distributed them to the uh, buy sell trade stores in our area. So they had a lot of these new with tags, but they retail for like three or $400 on the company's website. And Style Encore has been selling them. I picked them up between like 35. This one was 55. Um, and I've, listed, I've seen them at other locations for more like 75. But at 55, this was a pretty easy pickup for me. I've sold one before for over 100. I can't remember what it was, um, 120 or 150. So hoping to make a quick sale on this one. Also, it's 100% wool, really good quality. All right, so that just leaves Goodwill Finds. Um, this one, I just picked it up based on style. The tag looked kind of interesting. I think it's a boutique brand. Um, it was five bucks. So I think I'll probably end up taking it to a consignment store here. Um, it's like this maxi dress with buttons down the front. Um, nice for summer. And I think I'll get some good store credit from that. And then I got this one for myself. I think this is Blue Pepper, which I think is sold at Lulu's, I'm pretty sure. Um, but just a cute fall dress. I can see myself wearing this the rest of the fall and winter. And then lastly, that anthropology dress I mentioned. So I did just check comps on this. It's 100% viscose. It's really beautiful. It's a maxi dress, long sleeves, has this v-neck with a tie in the back. Two different floral fabrics. Um, really, really pretty, long, and um, the brand is Cashel with Anthropology. So these look like they're selling for 80 to 120 also. I got it for, I think, $6. All right, so that is the haul for today. I'm excited to photograph these and get them listed. Glad to have some more inventory as backup between days when my boxes and boxes of online sourcing come. I do have one that came today, so why don't we just open that real quick and then we'll wrap up this vlog. All right, so we've got this box. I just untaped it. I haven't looked inside. I'm not sure what it is yet. I know I bought it on Poshmark from the label. All right, this looks like packed in a trash bag. <laughs> Appreciate, you know, that it's weatherproof in there. This looks like yet another coat. 
All right, yes, this is another J. Crew Stadium cloth coat. This one has a fur hood, and it's gray, a different style, more of a parka style, but super cute. Let's check this out. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Yeah, so you got the stadium cloth tag. Cool. Hopefully people are searching for coats, which I know they are because I've been selling a lot lately. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's it for today. I think I'll probably hold off on photographing and listing until this weekend because I am exhausted and want to spend some time with my family. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. I post videos almost weekly about all things Poshmark and eBay and reselling and um, I'd love for you to join me. So go ahead and subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed coming along with me today. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.